Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Stupendous Wave, and in this video, we'll be talking about the prospects of Jurassic World to possibly be taking place on the mainland or some type of mainland or a populated city as opposed to another island, which we've gotten from the Jurassic Park films. Now, there are spoilers in this video for Jurassic World, so if you haven't seen Jurassic World, go ahead and watch it, then come back and watch this video. So, I think that walking the line between the mainland and keeping the Jurassic Park feel can be a very, very thin line. I think that a whole movie based around the mainland might not be a good idea, but similar to maybe even a little bit expanded to what it was in The Lost World, I would be okay to have dinosaurs on the mainland like that. I feel like the kind of island dynamic of Jurassic Park has to be switched up a little bit for this fifth film in the franchise. I mean, for four films now, we've been on an island until, of course, the end of The Lost World. And I think it's time to change that. It's time to see these dinosaurs in a new environment. Now, part of the thing that's a little bit worrisome about this is that the herbivores aren't going to get the attention that they're deserved, basically. Unless, of course, the herbivores are let loose on the mainland as well. But for the militarized, like, thought that they were going for in Jurassic World 2 with Vic Hoskins talking about the military. I don't see much use for herbivores in the military. I'm sure you can use Stegosaurus to take out a lot of people and a Ankylosaur and of course the Triceratops but they're not going to be as effective and like bloodthirsty as the carnivores are. I definitely think that the carnivores are the ones that they're going to use to attack the people if they are going to be used in a militarized sense. Now, if you think about it, really, carnivores have always taken center stage in Jurassic Park films. If you think about it, it was in the first movie, it's the main dinosaurs are the Velociraptors and the T-Rex. They're the ones that have the most impact on the story. In the second movie, it's the T-Rex, and then we had an awesome sequence with the Velociraptors. In the third movie, it's the Velociraptors, the Spinosaurus. And in the fourth, it's the Velociraptors, the Indominus Rex, and at the end, the T-Rex. So, really, the carnivores are the ones that affect the story the most. The herbivores are just in the background. That's not to say they're not absolutely magnificent, because they are. But what I'm saying is we might be able to get that initial feel of watching the herbivores just roam and be free in Jurassic Park towards the beginning of the second film, and then have it transition to the mainland. Maybe the second half of the whole movie can take place on the mainland kind of maybe the dinosaurs get loose again similar in the lost world because really who wouldn't love to see another indominus rex loose on people in the mainland that would just be crazy if you can imagine the carnage that she caused in jurassic world just on that little island and she didn't even come in contact with a large group of civilians in the movie but if she did come in contact with a large group of civilians that would definitely be something that I would like to see. And then, of course, who wouldn't love to see Velociraptors attacking people on the mainland? That would be definitely cool as well. I'd love to see maybe some hybrids get loose and attack people. Then they might even call in the military to deal with this stuff. And, of course, the police would have to try and deal with it. We saw a little bit of that in The Lost World, but not a whole lot. It would definitely be interesting to kind of see police officers and the military almost have to like wrangle up these dinosaurs and make a decision whether or not to kill them or not because they're killing people. I think it could definitely be a nice little twist on everything. Like I said, it's been done before, but I feel like the island thing has been done before as well, and if they throw in enough new stuff, it can feel fresh and new. So that's just kind of my thoughts on it taking place in the mainland. I'm not opposed to it, although I feel like they need to integrate the herbivores into their somehow, like I always say, I'm not a writer, I don't write the films, I just kind of come up with ideas. So it's up to them to determine how to get the herbivores evolved effectively in the story, and how to make it so everything makes sense, how to make it that the dinosaurs did escape, kind of come up with a good reason for their escape, and just, yeah, just basically come up with some good concepts. So anyway, what do you guys think about dinosaurs possibly being on the mainland? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and have a great day.